In this lecture, we will discuss how to collect data. There are two ways to collect the data. Either you collect the data you need on your own or you use the data that has already been collected by someone else. If you collect the data for the first time, keeping in view the objective of your research or investigation, then it is called primary data. On the other hand, if you take the data from certain publications or reports, then it is called secondary data. Secondary data is the data that is already collected by some other agency in the past for some purpose. There are many methods available to collect the primary data. However, the most common method is designing a survey or questionnaire to get the desired information. How these surveys are designed depends on the objective, scope and nature of investigation. For example, if you are the owner of a restaurant and you want to obtain data on the customer's opinion of the quality of food, service, atmosphere and so on, then you may design a questionnaire like this. The data that you will get from this questionnaire will enable you to assess the quality of the restaurant's operation. As just discussed, depending on your nature of investigation, you may choose to go with secondary data as well. There are many organizations that specialize in collecting and maintaining data and you may get access to that data through leasing arrangements or by purchase. Apart from these organizations, there are government agencies as well that maintain a good database. For example, if you want data on the number of households or household income, then you don't have to go to every household with a questionnaire in your hand to get the data. You can get this data from Census Bureau. Or say if you want data on hourly earnings, unemployment rate or consumer spending, then you can get this data from Bureau of Labor Statistics. However, there are some precautions that you should take while using secondary data. It could be the case that the secondary data have been collected with a different objective of investigation. Before you use the secondary data, it is necessary to examine the objectives and circumstances under which it was collected. Such kind of examination may give you an idea about the accuracy and reliability of data. Though the secondary data might be less reliable than the primary data, it doesn't mean that you should always collect your own data. This is because there is additional time and cost involved in obtaining the primary data. The use of secondary data becomes desirable when data must be obtained in a relatively short period of time. To put it in short, there is a trade-off involved in choosing between secondary data and primary data and you should make sure that the cost involved should not exceed the benefits.